please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a haul from Dollarama, Dollar Tree. I think that's it. Just the two dollar stores that we have here in Canada that I frequent. I would say I've been picking these up since about September 2020 and now it's November 2020 so uh, I usually show these on my Instagram uh, that's my the fastest way I can kind of keep people aware of what's current and what I'm picking up so if you were following us on Instagram at speech phrase then you'll be able to see some of the stuff that I haul right when I pick it up or sometimes when I'm in the store I'll even post so I'm just gonna go through and let you know what I got and what I want to use it for. Alright, so the first one are these Melissa and Doug animal magnets. I was really surprised to find Melissa and Doug at the dollar store. They were at the highest price point, which is $4, but you can see what's on the back. I was thinking of using some of these for categories. Of course, vocabulary for nouns and describing little animals so they're magnets thought they were really cool and then I found at the same store like a week later these ones so these ones were also four dollars they weren't Melissa and Doug but they had these cute little carrying kind of cases and they had those little um, plastic lid that slides on and off so there was magnetic dinosaurs and they look pretty good for describing vocabulary even just hiding a little dinosaur inside a critter clinic would be fun. There's 20 in there, and then there's 20 magnetic vehicles as well. So this is that Montoy company. They sell a lot at the Dollar Dollarama right now. So lots of realistic looking pictures of vehicles. So I like working on those as well for function. And you know all of my little friends love their vehicles. So I think this is one of the few things I got from Dollar Tree. And they've had these before, but they've had them in primary colors. And then I think a green. But um, this one had some nice funky colors. And they're basically just like favor boxes. But you know, if you've seen any of my hide inside videos, how I love to hide things inside. So sometimes it's our tick cards mixed with stickers or other little things. These ones actually kind of fit together, which are really cute. And the other thing I want to put, do with them, one of the things I like to do with them is have kiddos drive through the tunnel and pick them up and put them in their dump truck and then continue driving through the tunnel. And then when they're done on the other side of the tunnel, that's when we open them up and then we say our words. And then I can just throw them in the tunnel when they are ready for another turn. So I have 12. I got 12 for a total of $3 and 75 cents. So in Canada, we pay $1.25 at the dollar tree. So I did get um, lots of those. So they're going to be fun. These ones are also from the dollar tree. So they're just all these extra little dice and they're all in different colors. I like these ones because they had like the rounded edges. I'll probably put those with all my extra game pieces because sometimes I just I'll buy a game thrifting and it doesn't have dice in it, or you can make up your own little games when you're doing storytelling. So I thought that was really cute. And $1.25, which was great. The last one from Dollar Tree was the mini bubble tumbler. So this is just like the other bubble tumblers that are no spill. So I thought I'd pick it up. It was this one was probably more like I got it in the summertime. Not not recently. I love those and I love when they're small so I can hold it really tight when I'm working on communication temptations. Kiddos are not going to be able to wrestle it from me. This little guy is also from Dollarama and he's a little penguin. Super cute. And his tag, he was $4 and it says Wild Republic. Sing and play Happy Penguin. Um, so I had to pick him up because wait, wait to see what he does. So cute. Let's see if he'll put a show on for us. Yeah, 
you'll keep going. Hooray! He just claps for hooray, but it's still really cute. thought some of my kiddos might get a kick out of that. It does say play on his other foot, but it doesn't do anything. So I'm not sure if I have to take him off demo mode. There's really nothing in there that would indicate that it's in demo mode. So maybe that's why he ended up at the dollar store, because his his um, sing button works, but not his play button. So I'm not sure if anyone else is, has that same problem, but I'm sad that there's, I wish I knew what the play button does. All right, the next one that I got, which I was surprised to find at the dollar store, was this croc and roll. So again, I haven't seen it in action, so it's keep away from the crazy croc. And I like this, this is just like my Taz game. I don't know if I've, I think I've posted a video about my Taz game, um, the Tasmanian Devil game. I think I have. And this is kind of the same kind of thing. He just rolls around inside. So it says, dodge the crazy croc, jump from lily pad to lily pad, and, but don't let the croc touch you. The last player standing is the winner. So this one I would probably want to modify only because I don't really like the fast paced action games when I'm working on speech and language targets. Kiddos, when they're not focusing when they're running around they're not focusing on what's coming out of their mouth so when kiddos are excited then often we make mistakes with our speech and language so that might be something where we have to earn the lily pads so it's three yellow lily pads three purple lily pads but I have some other plastic circles I could use so make them earn the lily pads and then we turn on the crocodile so that's how I would play that one so it's pretty cute. You can earn it by doing the different speech and language targets. I also grabbed this, the Fisher Price Little People Stuck on Stories. So you've probably seen these stuck on stories before. This one has lots of really cute little people in it. All multicultural farmers and we have a few animals. And they have little suction cups on the back so you can kind of match the shapes on the first page and they have a little kind of describers about what little descriptions of what each person likes to do so some action words and then some describing on this page and they're so happy to be hard working and then who's feeding so this one is a who question and where questions to complete the scene this one, um, they all have their own sense of style. Can you match the colors to the characters? So they have different colors. This might be good for like copula or something. And then they had a great day. And can you match one more time the shapes? So we can have all the animals all around the farmer. So I thought that would be kind of fun. It's a little bit more exciting than just a regular book. And um, it's gonna be able to target some of my speech and language uh, goals as well. And there it is, four dollars. It's a great deal. Okay, so I have two of these and I don't know where I put the other one, but uh, there's this Crayola Fun Felt felt board. And so it's a felt scene. Oh, they're both they're there, they're stuck together. So we have a felt scene and some critters. So we've got, um, these are from Dollar Tree. And there's one with aliens and one with dragons. No, that's a dragon, a couple dragons, and then these are unicorns, I think. So so pretty felt scene and some felt critters. I was gonna try them on my green screen and see if they were gonna be big enough to be seen on the screen. These books I showed on my Instagram as well. So the Wild West Adventure and the Space Adventure follow along stories. So I went through it in a little more detail on my Instagram, but you can see that they're like follow along kind of with your finger. You could even have a little car or something that you wanted to follow. So they are WH questions, vocabulary, and then going, oops, you can go the right way, the wrong way, the dead end, and you kind of have to move your finger to follow along into the story. So first you need a friend, and then you talk about where you're going. Uh-oh, the spaceship has lost a bolt. Which tool to use? Feeling hungry now, smooth landing. 
mission accomplished. So that's the space adventure with 20 different choices, it says. And the other one is the Wild West Adventure, which is really similar. Choose a path to build your story. So you could even, I wonder if you could use like a whiteboard marker or something to circle. You'd have to make sure not to get the marker in the path, but um, then you could retell the story, right? So you could, let's test it out. Let's be brave. It says, what should we bring with us? Let's be brave and see if we like circle the water bottle, hopefully <laughs> rub off. I've got my super duper markers here that have a little dry erase component. Oh, look at that. Yeah. My theory is correct. So who's going to come along? So maybe they can pick who wants to come and they can make a little scribble around that person. Oh, see, I wrote on that area anyway. <laughs> Let's see if it comes off. Not really. So that's okay. It's bound to happen. But then you can do who questions and then you have an opportunity to do some retail which I like so that's the Wild West Adventure this cute little book I thought because I love puppies and you probably if you are following me on Instagram you'll see that uh, you'll see my puppy on there if uh, 15 things not to do with a puppy so if this is a nice negation I thought the illustrations were really cute so hooray, a puppy. They have lots of energy. So there's a little bit of heavy on the text at the beginning, but then I liked what was farther inside. So it says, don't take your puppy hand gliding. So I thought that would be good for answering why questions. Why not? <laughs> and then don't teach your puppy to play the tuba. Why? Or have your puppy have the remote control all these implications so it's negation it's action words there's he's and she's nice multicultural pictures so we can talk about why doggies don't do this and why doggies don't do that <laughs> so that, that was kind of funny and cute and again i just love the illustrations best friends and these are really cute little scribbles at the end so that was 15 things to not do with a puppy and who doesn't like talking about puppies that one was only three dollars so that was a good deal too our dollarama is similar to like a dollar general in the states so one more thing so i picked up this book this week animal feet a song about animal adaptations i have not heard the song it does come with the cd at the back these ones i think were four dollars but i can't remember there's other ones in this series there's animal tails animal wings and animal heads i saw them all there but i just didn't get them look at all the benefits it has um, but you know why I like the feet one because I work on the F sound all the time so I thought they were just really cute illustrations and again I may or may not want to play the song so that's kind of a summary of all the feet on the first page um, but then it's got nice action words so what can gophers do with their feet they can run and dig 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 gopher feet just can't be beat so it's got the nice rhyme component in there too and maybe some animals that maybe we don't talk about very much so what can gorillas do with their feet they can climb and eat 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 gorilla feet just can't be beat so it's nice and repetitive and so many different kinds of feet the illustrations are nice so I thought that was really good for a dollar store item the animal feet book this one I got for Christmas. Oh my goodness, Christmas. A coloring paper, paper table cover. This one's not for my sessions because I think not very germ friendly, but I'm gonna use this one with, um, with the cousins at Christmas time. So I thought that would be fun to put that down as a tablecloth when they're doing crafts or something. And maybe the little one can do some coloring on the side there. So she probably might like to color, but the other ones are gonna maybe paint. So they can all sit together and do that. That was cute. And the last but not least, I don't know if I can get this whole thing in. It's a pie face game. I found this for $4 at um, Dollarama. It's from Hasbro Gaming. It's brand new. It says whipped cream not included. But I liked it because it was like a cannon. So that was kind of different than the, than the typical just launcher. It has this cool cannon. 
So I thought that would be kind of fun. Again, with the cousins, I don't think I would use it in session, but for $4, I couldn't leave it there. So they had a whole bunch of them. I was really surprised. So anyway, that's it for the dollar store haul. I hope you have good luck at the dollar store like I did. Remember, follow us on Instagram at Speech Fairies. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if we, you think we did a good job today. I say we because usually my daughter and I are shopping together. If you want to help support our channel, please hit subscribe. We're happy to have you along for the ride. And for those who are already on the Speech Fairies train, thank you so much. We appreciate all your support. We have our comment section back, so if you want to leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing. That would be great. Or if you have any special requests on what you'd like to see, we'll try to dig it up. Or something you're working on that you want some ideas on, and we're happy to do that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.